Oh, you guys. <laughs> I had the first of all humbling first today, and I've just been trying to figure out what my parents would say if they were still alive. Maybe I don't want to know. What was this first? I used an outhouse, not a porta potty, an actual outhouse, a hole cut in wood over a hole cut in the ground. Oh my goodness. But with pelvic radiation damage, when I got to go, I gotta go. I really, really gotta go. And then Paul almost got killed by a toad. <laughs> the toad vehicle behind the motorhome had to be unhooked at the new campground prior to, whoops, sorry, I'm moving the dog, prior to moving down to the campsite. And I don't fully understand what happened, so I'm gonna let Paul tell you how he almost got killed by the toad. Well, most of you know, if you pull a car behind the motorhome, they call it a toad. Well, we pulled into this new campground today in Custer, South Dakota. Beautiful place. First thing the lady says is, you're going to have to unhook your toad, your car, before you can park your motor home. I said, well, no problem. So we pulled in right off a of four-lane highway, maybe 20 feet, and seemed relatively level when I pulled in. And my wife went in, Laura went in, and made the, uh, took care of all the appointments and paid the bill and everything for us to stay there. So I'm out there by myself. Uh, unhooking the toad. Well, the toad pulls along in neutral. The transmission has to be in neutral uh, to uh, be able to pull it. And um, so anyway, um, I, I have two pins to pull up front with some emergency cables. Got all that unhooked. Got the one pin out. The other pin was like stuck. I shook it. I shook it. Finally, the pin came loose. And Suddenly I realized that my little toad was moving backwards towards the four-lane highway. I thought, oh, dear Lord. So I jump in. Well, I didn't jump in. I chased the car down, got the door, driver's door open. Well, I have an automatic braking system in there, so I couldn't just jump in and put my foot on it. So I had to lay down while it's dragging me down the road <laughs> and take my hands and hold the, shove the brake in until I could get it stopped. And we were just about... Eight feet away from going out in the highway, me and the toad both, uh, we'd have probably both been run over. But thank the good Lord, we got it stopped and learned a valuable lesson. Put the emergency brake on before unhooking the toad. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the story for the day. Oh, I, I'm laughing now, but I would have flipped out. I probably would have passed out, screamed, puked, all that at the same time if I'd actually seen it happening. But Anyway, we're laughing now because he's okay. Anyway, um, we have a couple pictures for you from Wednesday and Thursday. Not too much uh, was going on, but we did some shopping and, and stuff. So enjoy. Have a good night, y'all. God bless you. See you later.